this is the YouTube guy and today we have a special video. Um, apparently, as you some of you might have heard on the news for Android 8.0 Oreo, it's name it's not called Oreo, that's his official name. And apparently what I've done I have searched for for Android O for Android 8.0 Oreo for this device right there. So I have I just found it and I've just installed it. You know, it's the very latest version of Android. But it is like well it it's buggy as hell. Uh, well it's not buggy, it's it's really not stable as most of its features don't work. Here you go. That's Android O Nugget. Oh well, I mean Android o, Oreo. That's the setting let me, I'm just gonna show you. Oops, not that. I'll guess that. Uh, there you go. Got Android 8.0 installed on your div well on Nexus 5. Got the um, this thingy Easter egg, whatever it's called. It's really slow. I'm really you can see that's just the random octopus for some reason that Google has put from DP4. That's developer preview four. Um, so I'm going to talk about. Basically features like mobile data, you know, SIM card and Wi-Fi and shit. Um, I do apologize for swear too much. <laughs> right, so first of all, we're going to get with the mobile data. You can see it says here no service, but I do have a SIM card in the uh, device. And Wi-Fi, I do have Wi-Fi as well, but you can see um, this is what you get. I mean, I do have a Wi-Fi, that's not my Wi-Fi. Like in here, the, the the place, the area that I'm now, it, there's like what's it called full, full connection. It's just like it's not listed in here, but you can see there is. You can see here, two networks saved. That's all the networks are saved, apparently. So we can see the this is the uh, AOSP version, or uh, vanilla Android as it's called. Again, I also noticed that the brightness. You can see it, there is no change whatsoever. Oops, it's no change whatsoever. It's just the same. Like brightness doesn't change. Battery drains completely, really fast, insanely fast, faster than just install a normal ROM. Really, you can see Bluetooth doesn't work either. You got a torch. That's a flashlight for here, but that doesn't work as well. You got battery saver. Oh nice, oh, it's huh, it's red. What well, was something new feature in it? Because the old version used to be like orangey thingy, but it's not red, which is something cool. There you go. Um, just disable that. So then we've got airplane mode, normal. Like this whole thing in here, it's basically white, and they have been transferred in here as well. So it's at the bottom different how uh, Android 7.0 it is like convert colors got this feature and there you go now it's just shut down apparently this is a battery issue that you shut down um, I just need to go and grab my charger and just power it on again see like unexpected shutdown this is like a high not stable really I'm just gonna turn this back on see if I can get it to work uh, it does have button animation again. This is just a custom, you know. This is an AOSP straight from Google. And it does take a bit of time to actually, what turn on. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab my charger. Right, okay. I've just got my charger right here. As you can see, there's my charger, and um, it's still booting up. Again, it takes too much time to actually boot up for some reason. Again, that's because uh, ROM problems, like unstable. And each time when it turns on, it kind of says process system not responding or whatever. I'll show it to you. Oh, yeah, that's the invert calls. I, I forgot to invert that back. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's just shut down again. Because it's at 0%. Again, most of the issues of that device. I'm going to have to turn this on again. 
like uh, it kind of takes a bit age i think there's no like battery images um you know when it shows that it's charging or whatever so there you go again putting this up again and check if anything's work i know it charges properly you know i'm gonna have to pause here and just carry on recording one oops well this has to put up virtual can get it up right there you go you can see there three percent and which was about what 15 percent i mean it's just drink quick there you go that's what i'm talking about as well wait a second like process system isn't responding where this each time if you have a nexus 5 and you have android 8.0 on to install it um you would get that you always tap on wait do not tap on close app otherwise that's it and that, that really does it i'll put the uh, rom uh, in 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 the description box, like a link will be in the description box, like in bio, as some people say it. There we can see that the adaptive icons on um, Android 8.0. Now, really, can't show you that many features. But, oh yeah, we could go to settings app. A complete changed uh, and kind of sorted out stuff. So you got network and internet and wireless. You got all the Wi-Fi stuff and. Um, VPN and airplane mode a mobile network currently that's disabled and we can't really again won't recognize my card my sim card although there is one so here you go like six percent that's the battery and that's app usage and shit um oh yeah and I think if you go here then you can see wait this is advanced option but, oh, fuck, sorry, sorry. There's that lot. Then you can system and all the, all the stuff. Like you get developer options. Um, I'm guessing how stuff are apparently changed. Let's back up, back up to Google Drive. There is no account. There is no Google account. I couldn't get a Google account in that working. And on what my Wi-Fi. Uh, it's different and the device doesn't recognize it and I know it's a ROM issue again I just I'm just doing a quick review of how Android 8.0 on X5 is I will take some screenshots as well so there you go about phone and there's the status most of them are just a bit misleading baseband version unknown it's an Android security patch or whatever that's our browser whatever for shit browser look i mean i mean that's in every single usb even 7.0 that i was oops that's not the one there you can see wait there you go what be browser that's just the browser or whatever that's for developers to like build custom browsers you know and we've got google play we've got phone and anyway there's nothing in here so there's no need to worry no, we don't want to create new contact. You can see a different, you know, uh, dollar app. You got the messaging, the AOSP messaging. Uh, yeah, but you didn't got the Google apps like Play Store. I had to install Google apps as well on it to see how they work. That will be in the description below as well. Uh, Gmail, like apps won't crash. I mean, it's stable in hardware like there you go that's one issue here well that comms thing is what appeared <laughs> as well so yeah i mean it's really good but again it needs working people well develop well the developer have to like work a bit you know to bring what's it called to bring more features and make it stable enough we also wish for one important thing, apparently I saw an article that the Nexus 5 could record at 60 FPS, but on Android L only. We hope would I can't really show you because again, like it just doesn't let me connect. I mean, I can I can't connect. I do have a Wi-Fi. It just like it should be four bars, but it's not. It's not again. It's not listed. What like Wi-Fi? 
it's not working properly. Like this, this more apparently this more Wi-Fi is you know area like not that much. It's got like about five, six like each home. Well, I mean like each home has one, but I mean like loads of homes, loads of Wi-Fi's. So there you go. We also one last thing. The camera, oh, that's just, that's hot. That's just frying. That's hot as fuck, man. There you go, camera error, I cannot connect to the camera. Like, I think most of his drivers are missing. Like, I think so. At least I got a video to play. Like, I want to test, like, if a video or audio plays to see if there's more missing stuff. Apparently, it can play video properly. So, here you go. Uh... I just play that video. Here's an example. Right. Oh, I think the rotation doesn't work either. Because, yeah. Yeah. It's just a random video I've downloaded from YouTube. But later, then we've got audio. They do work as well. I've got some lossless audio. And I've got some MP3 and FLAC files. So, for example, that one. But always do take a bit, you know, ages to load up. So apparently, yeah. Well, I don't have copyright free to use. Well, just for this video. So apparently that's it. Uh, con uh, there's more features like picture to picture, PIP. And um, again, I can't download apps. It's just a review of how Android 8.0 looks on a Nexus 5 device. I'll show you the battery saver, uh, Easter egg settings. A completely revamped whatever like Bluetooth again it's it's a no it's not not working you know uh, currently developers will fix this but we hope they will bring 60 FPS recording on an Nexus 5 as well as I'm gonna have to go to the XDA thingy and kind of comment and tell them as well we expect more features on this device Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Let's go back to 7.0 where I was, apparently. So, yeah. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll try my best to like, make it, you know, regular content because I'll, I'll have to just stop uploading for some reason. I don't know why, but I have. So, uh, basically, yeah. That's it. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting a, another device. So then I can use this to install ROMs and shit. So I can install, you know, ROMs, like, kind of build apps and shit. But I can't do it here because this is my daily device. But I'm going to get a daily device. This is my daily device. I'll do an unboxing of it. I use this as just my, you know, putting ROMs and shit. Building ROMs and shit. Again, thanks for watching. I think that's, that's it. The only future I can show you is the adaptive icons. Which that's something good. I've got Google Now launch as well. Uh, it is, but I just uh, decided to use this launcher for this video. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later in the next one. Peace. Just a short thing before I go, because I forgot about that. Instead of getting multiple things to, you know, notifications, now you get this to get all categories or done, developer messages. So that's just an, not one out of 16 notifications, so just do that. But it's just a feature that I just didn't mention on my video. Anyway, bye.